last time. Burnt Sienna, Emerald Green, Ivory Black, Ultramarine Blue, Crimson, Titanium White, Cad Yellow Light, Yellow Ochre, Naphthal Red, I'm Paid by Nate. Hello everyone. <laughs> Somebody said that they needed me to introduce myself on one of my last videos. So. Because they didn't, they didn't tune in for the live stream, they only saw it at the start of one that I clipped. Alright, this is Ultramarine Blue. We're just putting in a big old sky here. Hard. You can see the beam. You can see the beam. Oh, nice blue sky. Okay. Wipe this brush off. Not sure if I want to do a big, big puffy clouds or not. Maybe. Maybe big puffy clouds. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. We might as well. Can't hurt. Adding happy clouds. Nice little puppy clouds. Let's see. Could use the one inch or two inch, but I'll just use this one. Let's do them the crazy way. Catch this yet? Oh well. That's fine. These are quick clouds. Quick clouds, you just swoop to the left and spin the brush around. <laughs> left to the right. Paul. Hey Nate, I'm back. Nice, good to see ya. Hope all is well. Puffy clouds, make them nice and light, wispy. smaller canvas. <laughs> nope, it's the same size. It might be the um, camera might be farther back than usual. Or the frame's bigger. The frames are make it look smaller. Alright. Let's start the mountain. Where'd my palette knife go? Oh, it's on the floor. Come on, Nate. Get it together. 
Got the old palette knife. We're gonna make a mountain color. Blue, crimson, black, and a little bit of a little bit of sienna. A little bit more. pretty wide mountain so we'll need to pull it around. Fender! No way, haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Paul, what are you painting this time? I'm painting Mount Rainier. Rainier? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's in uh, Washington. So we're on Washington for this one. Very big mountain. kind of two sections to it. So there's going to be this one here in the middle. And it's going to come down like this. And then there's another section over here, but I'll do that after I do this first section. I always love when you paint a mountain. <laughs> I do enjoy painting the mountains. I don't want to be a mountain person though. Well, I only paint mountains, but I do love painting them. Always enjoy it. Okay. Let's make sure we get this all the way there. Out a little bit. Oh, you know what I should do? Before I go any further, I gotta put the water in. It's just hard to put water in after you. Started, so. or gone too far, I should say. For that, I'm going to use a lot of the raw ultramarine blue. There's some white in there already, so that'll help. And then a little tiny bit of emerald green. The tiniest little drop. Shouldn't even be able to tell it's in there. Okay. Sometime, can you paint along with Timbo Took? <laughs> sure. I should ask Timbo Took if he wants to, if we want to do like a actual stream together. I don't know. He's probably too busy. He's been having some, I think in his last one he had some health problems he's been working through. Hope he's doing okay. Actually, is not the right shape for Mount Rainier. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and it's not right at all. So we're gonna fix it. It's more like a more like this. Closer to what we need. Is he okay? Hasn't posted. Oh yeah. 
I'm not sure. I hope it's doing okay. Not for several weeks, and I'm going out until the 24th. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can wait, no problem. No problem. We'll probably be wrapping up the state stuff next week, and then after that, just painting whatever. All right, now we gotta add these little snow caps. There's a little bit of a highlight. Where would that be? It's like right up here. Does it come down? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. My memory is failing. I do remember there's another peak down here, so I gotta save some save some paint for that one. Make a shadow color. Probably way too much blue in that. I don't want that much blue. I had a little bit of crimson, maybe that'll help. Make a little bit more purpley. brush okay now we do the highlights wherever I found this powder I do like having a little bit of blue in there so let's do that Make sure we get it on the edge though, otherwise it looks weird. Okay, there's that. Second range, our little baby range out in front. I painted Bob Ross Season 2, Episode 10. Why did I think of it? Oh, painting outside in the afternoon was a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, he'd probably be melting. Can't be doing that. <laughs> That's crazy. Next time we gotta get an air conditioner. Outdoor air conditioner. They make pants that are air conditioner. I saw those at Sharper Image a while ago. No, sharp rumors probably isn't even around anymore. Okay. I'm just adding some shadows to this side. Okay. 
This will be trees over here, so I'm not really worried about it. Trees on the left. Trees on the right. All right, let's do that. Easy peasy. These are the easy trees. Lots of green. A little bit of brown. Red sienna. Maybe some black. A little bit. It should be dark. And we'll just start over here. We gotta go down. it out like I normally do. He's just going to go all the way. Reflections. Make that one a little bit more pointy. Okay, that should be fine. Just a little bit here on the bottom. There we go. Need to be a lot darker. So I want this side to be in the shadow and the other side to be in the light. Over here be the light side. Put it in half. Something like that. I also could have done a reflection of the mountain in the water, but I wasn't thinking about it. We're kind of winging this one. This is the classic pull down. You know exactly what I'm doing already. And pull across. There's the reflections. Okay. And now we deviate a little bit. Add some highlights to the side. So I'm going to use a lot of cad yellow again, like I normally do. Because I can't tell colors, so I need them to be very saturated to be able to see them. So lots of cad yellow and then a little bit of green, emerald green. Where do we want the sunshine to start? Let's start it right here. This is our sunshine side. Just kind of pulling down just a little bit near the tops. real quick and we'll do a we'll actually add some land in here let's make it go in a circle kind of okay there's our dark color first and now we can add in grassy colors on top I'm just going to tap. Something like that. Then we'll grab this. Pull down just a little bit around the edge. Blend it 
together. Here we go. I like the tree line. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. All right, now we're going to do the shadow side. That might have a little bit of purple, actually. go up into the trees a little bit. A little bit more over there. Okay. And then we'll throw in some snow there. Snow with a knife. Well, we can't use bright white because that would be that'd be too bright for this side. Some shadows. So we need to snow that hasn't melted yet. Let's, make, let's test it over here first. That's too bright. I could add some ivory black if I wanted to dull it down even more. Which is fine. I probably will have to do that. If I had Prussian blue, that would have worked. Probably would have worked better. So. Oh. Oh, I had a darker, actually not a darker green. You know, like an ochre and green mixture. with some ochre. This should make a dark green, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But we'll just tap it in up here, see what it looks like. Maybe I should tap it in here, because I can't actually see it. <laughs> okay. Very hard to see. Hopefully you can see it. I need to fix the lighting in here. Two things I need to fix by next time is the lighting and the... Um, this, thing, <laughs> this thing is scaring me. I can feel it moving. Okay. Could also add some highlights in here, but maybe we'll do that. Before we add the water line, we'll do some of this. Can you use liquid white? I usually just use regular white. I don't know why. I just might well, let's do it this way. Let's put some here. This is gonna be interesting. So this is our little outside water line. And then we'll take some blue and white. Oh, 
just add some here and there to make it look like ripples. There we go. Sorry if that was too loud. Bob Ross's signature landscape style is so epic. You would have made him proud. Oh, thanks, Ken. Too kind. Too kind. All right, let's just do a little list to make it less jarring. There. Not too bad. You can always add more details to the mountains, but we're just practicing. Just practicing. All right, let's get our old uh, signature on there. Put it up here in the foliage. Call it a day. everybody for joining I appreciate it thanks Paul Kenneth Ken Jones was here Fenders here anybody else that I might have missed I apologize but thanks for stopping by I'll take it down maybe get a little bit closer This is Mount Rainier, Washington. Again, thanks for joining.